Okay, we have a 5D Mark III here today, and I want to talk to you about the new flash menu system that's built into the 5D Mark III. Unlike the 7D that had a commander built in, because it had a pop-up speed light, uh, that pop-up speed light's not available in the 5D Mark III, and there is no commander mode built into the 7D. So you have to use an external speed light, such as a 580X2 or the optical commander, the STE2, I believe or you can use the new 600RT system. I'm not here to talk to you about the new stuff, I'm here to talk to you about using your 580EX2 and your 430EX2 speed lights in a wireless optical situation and using the 580, or, sorry, the 5D Mark III to control it. So what you want to do is you want to go into your menu and you want to go over to the first tab, the first uh, menu, the first square in the red tab. You want to go to the second from the bottom it says external speed light control and you just hit enter and that will bring you up, you hit your set button and it tells you if you want to enable your flash to fire which is yes then you set how you, if you're using ETTL you can use the spot, mo the spot meter to uh, inside the camera to meter or you can use the evaluative meter to adjust exposure for your speed light you also can set your sync speed in aperture priority mode but the new menu that I want to talk to you about is the new menu the flash function settings and this is an like a graphical user interface versus text in the old menus um, so if you don't have a speed light on your camera it will give you this menu or this warning so you turn on your speed light, which we have a 580X2 because we need to use it as a master. And as you can see, we have a setup for ETTL. And this is the wireless menu. It'll come like this. You turn it on by pushing in set and then going to the optical transmission. If you have the new 600RT, it will give you another look like an antenna or lollipop. And that will be the radio frequency wireless transmitter. Uh, it only comes if you have the 600RT hooked on. This will um, give you your zoom control. This is your curtains. You can do first curtain or high speed sync. You can also set up rear curtain. Um, just not in wireless. Okay, so this is exposure compensation control. And you could set, the, you have to have your camera on zero, I'm sorry, your flash set to zero, or this is grayed out. So if you use the dial on your camera, on your flash to do exposure compensation it will not allow you to access that menu okay as you see here we I've set the flash to zero compensation and now it will let me use the, my thumb to do exposure compensation if you do um, bracketing for your speed light this is where you would set it up wireless control these are your menus oh sorry your channels channel one two three or four you can set one flash up on each channel you can set multiple flashes on one channel and this is where you will control each one I use three because not a lot of people use channel three and I don't want to run into a situation when I'm out at a wedding or something like that where somebody's using my channel and setting off my flashes this is to disable uh, the master flash your, your Flash on top of your hot shoe is your master flash, the one that's going to control your other flashes. And you can either have it contribute to the scene if you use it with the three fingers uh, showing out the front, or you can set it up to not contribute to the scene. A lot of times I set it up to not contribute to the scene, and I'll use um, my other two flashes for all of the exposure. And here is set up for ratios. You can set up A B channel or A B ratio or A B plus C. And your ratio control menu opens up up here. For A B, you can set it up as one to one or two to one. And I like to set my flash, my A flash on the left side of the camera and my B flash to the right side of the camera. So I don't get confused um, based on looking at this menu. So if I had it set it up at two to one, my A flash will be two times brighter than my B flash and vice versa. If I have it 1 to 4, my B flash will be 4 times brighter than my A flash. Okay, So we set this up back at 1 to 1 and we'll go back out here to A plus B plus C. 
there's a b and there's ratios again and we'll go back and do all now when you have your other speed lights turned on let me zoom back out a little bit with this camera so you can see what's going on there okay so in order to make sure that your remote flashes or your flashes off the camera are going to function you actually have to go in and set up the flash to receive the signal so I'm going to turn this off for just a second so we're going to act like this is just one of the flashes that's off the camera in order to set up your wireless or control any of the settings you have to hit your zoom button it's got the little wireless thing that looks like a lightning bolt Z okay so in order to turn your flash on and make it wireless or make it a master you can you're gonna have to turn these on in on the stands and make them a slave in order to do that you hold the zoom wireless button and you turn it on by turning the dial and you hit your set button in the center now you cycle through zoom ratios if I want ratio control or my channel so if I want to be on channel one two or three this is how I set it the zoom so we're on channel three okay and do I want this flash to contribute to the scene or not since it's a master I do not want it to so we put it to the off button and we notice there's no three fingers in front of it we're set up in wireless mode and this is a master the other ones will set up as a slave and I'll show you how you do that okay so you come over and you hit your zoom and it will turn on and we turn on a master or a slave we turn on slave same thing zoom channel three we can make it channel two or one or four whichever we like and we make the slave a b or c okay so since if we were going to set up this flash over there we make it a and if we're going to set up this flash over here we make it slave b okay so you do the same thing with the other two flashes. You set this up as channel three, slave B. So let's go back and make this a master. Okay, so we have slave on, master on, channel three. Okay, so to test if everything's working, you will go into your menu, turn your camera on, and you can hit your depth of field preview button, and this will see if they're all talking. And since they are, we know we're good. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.